INFPs are like oceans, and just like the ocean, if you dive deep below the surface, you'll find a world that's beautiful, yet not as peaceful as what you see on the surface. Number 20. INFPs are true poets. Whether they write poetry or not, you can tell that they love literature from the way they speak. Their speech is filled with metaphors and personifications when trying to make their point. Number 19. INFPs are great listeners. They listen to your problems patiently and try their best to make you feel understood. They make great counselors and enjoy learning about other people. As they start to gain people's trust, they usually see people let their guard down to share moments of intimacy that would not have been otherwise shared. Number 18. INFPs are creative. INFPs are able to see the world in a different light than most people can. They can express a lot of their own feelings and thoughts through art forms, like paintings and poems. Actually, for them, it is the best way to express their feelings without feeling awkward or like they're bothering others. Number 17. INFPs are loyal friends. It is often hard to get close to an INFP because they are selective with their friendships. But when they do open up, they will be loyal and committed friends. Even though they tend to not stand up for themselves, they will stand up for you no matter what. Over time, your relationship will grow just like a tree, and it will deepen to the point where they feel a sense of affection for you. Number 16. INFPs are open-minded. INFPs are able to accept different people with different perspectives. They have their own values and will let you have your own. INFPs are accepting and always doing their best to create a relaxed environment where people can be who they really want to be. This builds a trusting relationship, which helps people open up and share even their deepest problems and secrets. Number 15. INFPs are living paradoxes. They are programmed to see the good in other people, including those people that society deems to be evil. However, INFPs tend not to extend the same tolerance or kindness toward themselves. They somehow can love others, but then criticize themselves and set their self-worth based on what other people think of them. Number 14. INFPs hate making enemies. It's not that they can't handle enemies, but it's just that they don't want anybody to dislike them. INFPs can become overly responsible when conflict arises and will try to resolve it with their empathy or listening skills. If they are unable to, the lack of harmony will cause them to spend an excessive amount of time dwelling on perceived failures. Number 13. INFPs show affection and respect. They go out of their way to help others without asking for anything. They treat others with genuine respect but hope for the same in return. You can't fake having respect for INFPs as they value authenticity and generally recognize when something feels off. Number 12. INFPs care little about money. They are not interested in material possessions, having a six-figure job, living the high life, or anything else that has substantial material value. For them, these are just assets that only improve their physical existence slightly. Of course, they rely on money for their daily living, but they do not let it consume their minds. What matters to them are the moments and things that cannot be monetized. Number 11. INFPs are committed to their relationships. Since their dominant function is introverted feeling, harmony and warmth are very important for living happily. INFPs need to feel that they are in a committed and healthy relationship. If they don't feel this, then they will either be searching for one or will be trying to create one in their own minds. Number 10. INFPs want the perfect relationship. Their idealistic and romantic mindsets make them fantasize about their partners having qualities they don't actually possess. Many INFPs have a hard time harmonizing their idealistic and romantic outlook on life with the harsh reality of it. Therefore, they often feel unsettled with both themselves and their personal relationships. Number 9. INFPs are idealistic dreamers. They see the world as it should be, a place where everyone lives peacefully and helps each other. INFPs are creative enough to solve most problems in the world, 
but they eventually learn that they cannot fix the world alone. All they can do on their own is influence other people positively. Number 8. INFPs give hope and support. INFPs' faith in people's abilities is what helps people press forward. They will support anyone who needs help to reach their goals. They believe in you even when you don't. They will not be influenced by the bad things people say about you because, for INFPs, your attitude towards yourself is what matters the most. Other comments are not helpful, so they're not influenced by what others say in this regard. If I'm with you, then I'm with you. They expect this support from others too. Number 7. INFPs are non judgmental. They care about you and will automatically assume the best. They don't really care about your weird traits as long as you try to align with their values and don't hurt them in any way. When you do something wrong, they will let you explain and try to understand the reason behind it. Number 6. INFPs are very flexible. Planning ahead is not really necessary. They will figure things out at the last minute or shortly before. They are very open-minded, but don't get the wrong idea. They are absolutely a stickler when it comes to their values, so you will not succeed in convincing them to do something they don't agree with. Number 5. INFPs will make you feel safe. They will create a space where anyone can be themselves and do whatever they want. INFPs are so easy to get on with because they have an inner calmness that just spreads around them. It's like everything is okay when you're in their presence. You feel understood and not alone. Number 4. They are defensive. When insulted, if it is something they are passionate about, be prepared to see a spark of anger in their eyes. They will defend something close to their heart and will strike back without thinking of consequences. INFPs can be stubborn about what they believe in, especially when it comes to their morals and values. They stay in the background and allow other people to think what they want, but they have no problem in calling out and correcting someone who violates their morals or values. Number 3. INFPs are selfless and considerate. INFPs empathize deeply with others, so you'll often find them putting people before themselves. They do this to help ease the pain of others. INFPs find it hard to just walk past someone who needs help without stopping to give help. This feels like a job that gives them purpose. INFPs are intrinsically altruistic and considerate by nature. Number 2. INFPs are aware of themselves and other people. INFPs care about understanding their own feelings and being self-aware. This awareness is also applied to the people around them. They won't miss anything about a person, even if it is subtle like a change in body language or tone. INFPs can easily determine how a person is feeling and whether they are telling the truth or not. Number 1. INFPs love. They love wholeheartedly. They might appear distant or clingy at times, but they'll always be there for you no matter what day you have, good or bad. INFPs believe in second chances. They understand that mistakes happen, but if they give you a second chance, don't screw it up. If they give you a third chance, you won the lottery. Consider if your imagination is so powerful that you can feel what someone else feels. INFPs know what it's like and can imagine on a really deep level, even a person's trauma. This might sound strange, but it's true. INFPs represent approximately 4% of the population. They care deeply about the people or things that they believe in, which means they will follow their hearts along with their moral compass, and sometimes even take unpopular decisions. They can live in extremities. One moment they are calm, the next they are not, and there's nothing in between. Just like oceans, their inner world is vast and mysterious. They keep all their feelings and emotions inside until a tsunami comes, but they have many treasures waiting to be found. To get through to them, you'll have to dive deep. Are you an INFP? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.